So I was asked this question on one of my YouTube videos, and I thought it'd be good to sort of go through this and explain it. So the person asked, they have an issue. They modeled a ship. It has separate loose parts. Those parts are textured separately. For example, they have their own material. What I want is to combine those parts to one ship model and have one material. Is that possible? So let's go through this. So just like what they have, they have their ship. Let's just say this is a person character. It has separate loose parts. You can see all of these are separate, every object. Those parts are textured separately. For example, they have their own material. Every one of these objects has their own material off here on the side, you could see. So what they want to do is combine all of the loose parts to one ship model and have one material. So we could go ahead and just join this together. I'm just going to do a control J to join. However, you can see in our material tab, all of those different colors have now are now being shared by the one object. So you can see we have our object. This is kind of the mesh information, but all of these materials are now being stored in that object. So the way to make all of these one material is to technically bake. So I'll go ahead and show you that. First things first is you're going to want to open your shader editor as well as maybe your UV editor. Um, I'm just going to do a simple unwrap just by doing smart UV project, not even really worrying too much about the details, but now you could see all of the UV information is being shared on one single tile and this tile will become a texture. So what we're going to do is hop up to the top here, hit new, and we'll just call this one material. Um, alpha is fine. I don't really, all of this information is kind of null. It doesn't really matter. So now we have our image texture ready to go. So with that image texture created, what you're going to have to do is go through each material and drop this texture onto it. So we'll just start up at the top. So I have orange selected. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop this material into my shader editor, just like that. So I'm going to go through the whole list. Just like that. So now you can verify that every color, every material, has a texture image on it. And that's correct. So now what we're going to do is go into the render properties. You're going to use cycles. I'm going to swap to my GPU. Doesn't really matter. This has nothing to do with the process, but you do need to be in cycles. Samples, you know, let it be whatever you need for your project. But more importantly, you're going to hop down to the bake tab. I'll, all I want to bake for this, and this would work for any of the following, um, I just want to simply bake the color. So I'm going to use diffuse, turn off direct indirect lighting. I just want the color. But at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and bake. So now you can see we have one single texture with all of our materials on it. So if you were to go back to this object, you're still going to see those materials are still assigned. But if I do a shift D and then X and move this out and away, what I can do is actually remove all of these materials, create a new one, grab this material texture, drop it in here. And I'm actually going to rename this as bake one material and just for simplicity's sake, you can see nothing's happened. So all we need to do is from grabbing that texture image, just drop it into your base color. And there you have it. So now it's sharing one material for these objects. So hopefully that answers your question and uh, helps you out. So we went from multiple materials to now single material. The important part of all of this is to bake it all into one material or one texture.